Greeting students. My name is Zahma Javed. I am an Ask IITN in-house expert for biology and I have been associated with Ask IITN since three years. Now anyone of you who has probably been to the zoo must have seen a large number of animals and each of these animals look different from other animals. The animal world is immensely diverse and our understanding of it has been greatly enhanced by analysis of DNA and study of evolution and development. In this presentation, I will take you through the various high-level grouping of animals together with an overview of biology of each group of animals. So, the topics that we are going to cover include the basis of classification in which we'll be going through the various characteristics on the basis of which the animal kingdom has been classified. Then, we'll be discussing about the various high-level groupings that are known as the phylums. So animal kingdom includes 10 phylums in all and the first phylum is the phylum porifera which includes the sponges. The second phylum is the phylum cilantrata. The third phylum is the phylum tenophora in which we will be knowing uh, the characteristic feature that is known as the bioluminescence. The next phylum that we are going to discuss is the phylum platyhelminthes which includes all the flatworms in the world. Then we'll be discussing about the phylum Ascalminthes, which are also known as the roundworms. Next, we'll be discussing about the phylum Annelida, which look like roundworms, but they are different from the roundworms in the way that they have segmentation. Next, we'll be discussing about the largest phylum in the world, that is the phylum Arthropoda, and they include the insects. Then we'll move our discussion towards the phylum Mollusca, which are the soft-bodied animals. Then we will be having our discussion about the phylum Echinodermata and the last phylum that we will be discussing is the phylum Chordata which include the animals having the notochord. 